July 3rd, 2010, and today's song is called Hyde's Got Nothing to Hide. It's by Mark Blankfield, and it is from the movie Jekyll and Hyde Together Again. I'm really excited about uh, talking about the song after we perform it. In your seats, the show's been begun. If that the face, all you'll miss all the flowers. He's mean and he's dirty. They say I'm a threat. But he's got a act that you'll never forget. I've got nothing to hide. I don't know how to tell you. I've got nothing to hide. I've got nothing to hide. I really want to tell you. Oh, ladies and gents, you're so beautifully dressed. I could tell that you're used to the best. Excuse his appearance. And the fact that I sweat. If you think you sweat, you will see that the end. Hot's got nothing to hide. I got to show you, baby. I Jerry Belson wrote Jerry it for the Belson. movie Jekyll and Hyde Together Again. Mark Blankfield is the lead actor in this film. I, I'll be the first to say that it's not Citizen Kane, but to me, it hits my funny bone every time, and I have watched the movie so many times he that I... He me to it, and it's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. The I, every, physical comedy of it's Mark what it Blankfield. Is. His physical wow. comedy... And his facial expressions alone make the, the <laughs> film worth seeing. And I know this movie line for line to the point where we had it on VHS for many years. And then when this came out on DVD, it was a really big deal because it was the first time that I was ever able to see it in widescreen. So this film that I knew by heart, all of a sudden you could see everything that had been chopped off for the full screen thing. It's like all of this stuff on the sides. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like a new, you know, it's like a new film, but it's not. So I wrote fan mail to Mark Blankfield, the lead actor in the film who portrays Jekyll and Hyde. And the, the synopsis of the story base, basically is that um, Jekyll is a surgeon that wants to replace surgery with drugs. And after sleeping, um, well, you know, after overworking himself one night, he accidentally snorts some of the cocaine concoction that he came up with. Um, to try to replace surgery, and he turns into Hyde. That's how you know. It's so he becomes Jekyll this. And Hyde. Exactly. It's it's based very very loosely on the original Robert Robert Louis Stevenson. I mean, it, there's very little that it has to do with that, except for the fact that there is a Jekyll and Hyde. It's just it's good fun comedy, like Revenge of the Nerds or it's, like yeah. Porky's films. It's it's not it's politically correct. Not at all. No. And no. it's great for that because back then. <laughs> People weren't that hypersensitive. <laughs> yes, yes. But to me, it's it's brilliant comedy. I love it. So I sent Mark Blankfield a, a fan mail, essentially, and asking that maybe if it wasn't too much trouble for him to send back a 
8x10 glossy assigned one that I would put it up in my music room. Well, I will be putting it up in my music room. Mark Langfield sent this back to me. And I there, there are no words for how happy this makes me. He came to my work yesterday and had this, and he was like all green, and I could tell see what he was going to show me something or tell me something that was really awesome. And then when he brought that, I was like, what? There you no go. way. But you have to read him what he actually it says, wrote. It says, Glenn, your words mean a lot. And then he has a quote from the film. It's, man has not evolved an inch from the slime that spawned him. And he signed it. And that that's a hilarious moment in the film where he comes into customs and the customs official asks if he has anything to declare and that's the line that he <laughs> rather than like declaring items he declares man has not evolved an inch from the slime that spawned him and then he's like very good brilliance <laughs> yeah, yeah enjoy your stay and yeah it's... so it's good fun <sighs> not good clean fun no not really clean. good fun and funny yes and just as long as, if you get the film, you really should watch this at least once in your lifetime. <laughs> if you can find it. It's because really it difficult rare, to find at this point. But it's hilarious. I, I think I saw some YouTube clips, though, so too, good. where you can at least get uh, samples of it. In fact, A lot of so. people know Mark Blinkfield more, so he yes. played Blinken in Robin was... Hood Men in Tight. Yes, that's what he I was He also gonna... played on Saved by the Bell a few yes, times. Yes, the uh, out-of-work actor. Yes, yes and, and so there's remember. been that, several that he's been in that you would know him, so you really should look him up, because he is a brilliant actor and mm. would be highly underappreciated, especially Yes. If you see his physical comedy in this and the facial expressions is are just above ridiculous. and beyond just so I mean it's probably right up there with the caliber of like Robin Williams and people like that that have that physical comedy that's just unbelievable yeah we stopped time too so I was looking to make sure we weren't getting past the time <laughs> we're going before. on and on and oh on. I could go on and on about this film just even like the transformation scene is a must see when he first transforms from Jekyll to Hyde oh you have it's to just, do with the line you always uh, do it. that, it's so that, funny that, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, no, it's not maybe not as funny in in this setting, but no, in a movie, it's hilarious. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, no, there's so many great Jekyll lines to it. Yeah, Jekyll and Hyde together again. If you find the DVD, it's gonna look like that. And it's Brad but, Tasm. No, I seriously even special ordered a used copy of it on VHS before that because I never thought that it was ever gonna come out on DVD, and I was so thrilled when it finally did. So. There you go. I think that's probably enough. But no, that was the thing I was wanting to bring up was the thing with Blinken. If you've seen Robin Hood Men in Tights, he is the character Blinken. Um, so, there you go. Master, oh. you've lost your arms in the war. <laughs> it's great, not a set of boobs. <laughs> exactly. That's the best line. I love it. <laughs> Possibly one of the best in that entire film, too. Oh, oh Fridays. Shit. That was the other thing I was going to mention, too. You can uh, try to seek out the stuff. Um, it was kind of an answer to Saturday Night Live was a sketch comedy show called Fridays and he was one of the members of the of that show too mm -hmm. and a couple of other which um, is also really hilarious well Michael Richards was originally on there too who mm -hmm. played Kramer in Seinfeld too so and Larry David and so. several awesome folks absolutely seek it out <laughs> seek it out and thanks for watching have a safe weekend